So uh, today's topic to discuss is about the eight parts of a speech. So in which number one, we have noun, then we have pronoun, then verb, then we have preposition, adverb, adjectives, and so on. So let's discuss about the number one, which is the noun. So usually the first page of a grammar book tells you about noun. Noun gives name of concrete or abstract things in our life as babies learn mom, dad, or milk as the first word sound should be the first topic when you study grammar. So whenever you're learning any language, definitely you have to start with the grammar. Okay, if you want to learn the grammar of that language. So first of all, first of all, you have to start with the parts of a speech. And within the part of a speech, you have to first study about the noun. So there are two types of nouns, the singular and plural noun. For nouns ending in F or F E, change F to V and aid E S. For example, here we have the word you like wolf so at the end of this word we have the f so we have converted that f into v it means change we have changed the f with we then we had added es so the same goes with wife the same goes with f i mean leaf the same goes with life okay we have changed this f then for the or change with v the same with the leaf the F is converted into V, then we have added ES. The F is converted into V, then we have added ES. Some nouns have different plural forms, like child, it, it goes with, it is uh, changed to with children. Women, it is women, okay. Women is singular, women is plural one. Here, some people do get, you know, forget about this thing, even though they do learn, they do know that the A is related to the singular one, E is related to the plural one, but when it comes to, you know, remind a few days, so they, they, they tend to forget it. So the trick that I want to share with you guys is you have to just remember like A comes first, okay, after A, there is E. So the first A is the singular. Then E means it is plural one. The same is with the main. Then we have mouth. So this is what you have to just remember. We do have some rules available, but there are some exceptions that you have to remember. Okay, then we have those. Okay, nouns ending in Y, O, O don't have definite rules like baby it is converted into babies then twice it is converted into twice the same is with kidney kidneys potato potatoes memo memos and the same is with the other words so for the plural form of most nouns aid s like cup we are using s with the cups we have added S with a cup, then it will it will become cups. Then same as with a pencil, it will convert it into pencils. The desk, stickers, windows, for nouns that ain't in ch, x, s, o, s sounds. Here we have s, then we have s sounds. Okay, add e s. Then we have to add e s if there is ch, x, s, o, s sound. For example, here we have box. The sound is X. Okay, then we have added ES. The watch, we have CH, we have added ES. Most, we have S, we have added ES. The bus, we have added ES. Then we have the verb. A word that expresses action or otherwise helps to make that statement. Okay. There are two types of verbs, the action and the linking words. The action verbs express mental or physical action, you know, because there are different types of actions. Maybe the physical or the mental one, you know, what we are thinking is related to the physical function, what we are doing physically, we are moving, okay, we are exercising, we are walking, it is a physical one. Then linking word, 
make a statement by connecting the subject with a word that describes or explain it. Here we have to have we do have the example like he rode the horse to victory. Here rode is verb. He is subject as we have discussed the linking verb shows linkage or connection between the subject and the word that describe it. Then we have action verbs. Action verb expresses action and are the most common verbs. Action verbs need S at the end with third person, singular subject. He, she, it are the third persons. Okay, then we have it as like he eats bread. She walks to the station. It flirts on the sea. Here we cannot use ES because these are the third person. Third person and singular subjects. Negative sentences need don't, doesn't, and did not. I do not eat bread. He doesn't eat bread. You did not work to the station. It doesn't flood on the sea. Action verb. Interrogative sentences begins with do, does, and did. We have to use these verbs, the action verbs, before the subject. Like here, you is subject and do is before that. He is subject, does is before that. She is subject, does is before that. They is subject, that is before that. So do you eat bread? Does he eat bread? Does she walk to the station? Then they finish it. Don't can be shortened to don't. Doesn't. I mean, does not can be shortened to doesn't. Did not can be shortened to didn't. This is the reduction or the contraction you can say. I don't admit it. She doesn't walk to the station. It doesn't flood on the sea. They didn't finish it. Action verbs. We have affirmative sentences, negative sentences, interrogative sentences. Here we have number one sentence like I sing the song. Okay, the negative will be we have to use no to the word. Like I don't sing a song. You can say I don't sing a song. If it comes to the fluent English fluency, you have to use the reduction because the reduction is uh you know, the help, the tool, the tech, and that can make you to be fluent, okay? Do I sing a song? We have to use do before the subject, as I've told you before. You sing a song. This is the, sentence, the second sentence. It will be like, you don't sing a song. Do you sing a song? Then we have an other sentence, like he, it may be she, sings a song. He or she doesn't sing a song. Does she sing a song? We sing a song. We don't sing a song. Do we sing a song? They sing a song. They don't sing a song. Didn't they sing a song? Action verb correct the verbs, errors, and the sentences below. Some sentences may be correct as is. So as we have, I runs a marathon. Here, there is no S. We don't use S with the I, so this is not correct. Then we, we have the sentence like, he looks sleepy, this is the right one. She doesn't, and this is the wrong one because we have to use thus because he, she, it, these are the third person. So we have to use yes with them. Thus you leave today, this is also wrong because we have to use do not, thus because you is plural one. We don't stay here. This is right. It come with right. So here it should be, it comes with right. Then we have B verbs. A verb shows action or a state of being. B verbs indicate a state of being. Verbs must match subject. I'm a doctor, he's sleepy, we are here. So B verb shows being. Then we have negative sentences like need, not after work. I'm not a doctor. Here, am is a verb. Verb of what? B verbs. These are called B verbs. Is M R or the B verbs? We have to just remember these are the B verbs. What is M R? We have to use note with them to make them negative one. Okay. So here we do have some of the 
examples, which can make them affirmative, negative ones, integrative. This is what you have to just read by yourself. So this is uh, all for today. So yeah, take care of yourself.